Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I am... I am Bogmod. And you know what? There was a little something I wanted to touch on before we continue. So, where is it? So here's a sword class frigate, right? This little guy, right? Now, I kind of mentioned, or touched on these before, like, there's, a, there's an, an aspect of scale at work that you, you may not be picking up on. So I thought I would, I would touch on that briefly. I have with me um, uh, my, my copy of Rogue Trader, which is one of the, uh, the various RPG books that have come out for the, the 40k stuff. And it's got, it's got a few of the ships in it. So I thought I would, I would let you kind of have an idea what kind of, uh, what kind of ships, we, you know, there are. Yeah, where is it? There we are. So, a sword class frigate, which is what we've got here. This ship, apparently, is about 1.6 kilometers long with a crew of 26,000 people. It's, it is not a tiny vessel. It is a huge, huge thing. Uh, what's what's next? What else do they have? Right, so we can go up here to the uh, the Dauntless class light cruisers. Here, for example, our lovely Shield of Getsbane. It is four and a half kilometers long, with a crew of sixty-five thousand souls. What's our thing about that? If this ship is four and a half kilometers long, how big are those guns? Well, they are massive. And you look at the artwork in these books, and those guns are about the right size. Now, this particular book only has it up to cruisers, but we will touch on it. It has a lunar class cruiser that's described in this book. Right. It is, this cruiser, five kilometers long, with a crew of 95,000 souls. That is a... That's a big ship. So when you th see those chaos ships explode in the night sky, right, like each of these battles sees hundreds of thousands of people dead. Just imagine. Just imagine how many would be on the shield of Misere. On this glorious piece of of doom. Oh, it, it, it beggars the imagination. Anyhow, we've got things to do. It's worlds to be saving. Uh, I've got two deployments. A data recovery mission against the Eldar. And a planetary assault mission. Both of, both of them, I am the defender. So I'm going to go with yeah. Guess I'll defend here. Keep or... Uh, what's my job? I believe I'm defending, right? That should be easy enough. The Eldar shing against... Um, lightning strikes. <clears throat> so yeah, I probably... This battle, like my four ships there... Probably have hmm, total all of them to combine. Two to three hundred thousand, maybe yeah, between two and three hundred thousand people. So these are not these are not tiny little like Starfleet type battles that you might think. No, no, no. There is many, 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 many people involved. All right. Well, let's let's see what the what the Eldar got planned. And of course I. Because the Eldar will get in close. Yes, Admiral. And you know what? Targeting enemy vessel. I want to do some damage. So let's let's all send out a welcoming Awaiting volley orders. of torpedoey death. Mm. Enemy ship sighted. Course plotted. 
Yeah, this guy's gonna. Once he gets in range, we are going to do terrible Enemy things to that guy. Sighted. All right, yeah, Changing you're dead. Course. New target. And you know what? Shields up. Enemy ship sighted. Feel the wrath of the Imperial Navy. Ship ready. We'll just take that back, thank you. Enemy ship sighted. Initiate emergency repairs. Awaiting orders. We lost the data. No, we didn't. Information secured. See, we got the data back. And we're about to explode a Your ship. Orders. At your command. A little friendly volley of torpedo should help. Your orders. And I think we should be invulnerable to their shots for a little while. Your orders. Damage teams, begin repairs now. Yeah, now the Eldar, they can do some good damage. But they do not have the staying power they need. Ship ready. Yes, Admiral. Yeah, there we are. See, we're down to a mere single ship. He is he is not going to Course be plotted. Yeah, we're just gonna shred him. Oh, those shots. Poor guy. No chance. Ship ready. Come on, another volley. There we go. Bye, Eldar. Well, we protected the data. Well, the Eldar ships are not as populous. Um, but they are also a dying race. So they're, uh, the loss of, of those few Eldar hurts them a whole lot more than hundreds of thousands of death deaths would would hurt us. Actually, the loss of the ships is far worse than the th they took out my fleet. Oh, well. Hello, Orar. To purgatory! My world is being overrun by enemy troops. Right, we'll, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll defend. We'll, we'll save them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do we got? Dangerous solar eruptions. Never pleasant. Now, choices, choices. Protect my world and swear to make the enemy fleet disengage. All right. Ah, mm, asteroid fields. Never pleasant. Kind of want to get these guys right up into it as soon as I can. Activating tactical cogitators. So there's you guys en route, and you, buddy. Awaiting orders. There we are. Let's see. Prevent them from accomplishing three bombardments. Five bombardments to go. Right. Well, of course, my main objective will be to destroy them. Ship As if they ready. are exploded, huh, then there is no chance yes, Admiral. Um, that they can, you know, shoot anything. Setting course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Engaging. I took him out. Yeah, I think a welcoming spread of torpedoes is what's needed here. But I'm quite con. Mm. I do need to kind of marshal my choice on who goes where. 
Your orders. Why right, you two? Change the targets. We are the Imperial Navy. Mm. Yes, Admiral. Oh, he's got some fighters. Just fine. And somebody's hiding in the clouds. Which is also fine. Yes, Admiral. Stupid cowards hiding in the dust clouds. Awaiting orders. Ah. I wish when you gave them an attack command, they went to their last known coordinates. At your command. Understood. Target locked in. Let's go over there, I suppose. At your command. All ahead, full. Oh, hold Cruising on. Cruising speed set. New target. Go this way. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Engines to maximum. Enemy ship sighted. Yes, Admiral. Engaging. There we are. Ship ready. We lost the defense platform. Mm, don't Feel go anywhere. The wrath of the Imperial Navy. Yeah. Ooh, I do not like my odds of getting there in time. Your orders? Faster! Underway. And hello, hello, hello. Activating I want to take a little peek at you first. A battleship, the Desolator battleship. All right, then. That is quite the ship. Our goal, Activating of course, will be to target any engines we can. We lost a defense platform. Your orders. Like, I would like to torp your face. Target locked in. And you. Lock on target. There we go. Orders received. Turn to face me, you fool. Awaiting orders. Mm. Setting course. Shields. Oh. Uh. Underway. For the Emperor. All right. Well, as expected, we have uh, we have not been Orders able to. Received. That's fine. Big ship like that. It's kind of slow. Engines hot. Which means torpedoes. We are the Big Imperial volley Navy. of them right into its. There we go. Fire. 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 Also, disruption bombs. Interesting. That's a that's a tactical bad place for that to be. Also, the grinding is not is not a good thing for them to be at. However. Trapping him. Ready. Not a bad thing. Yes, Admiral. All right. So, yeah. Oh no! Killed him. Activating tactical cogitators. Uh, disruption bomb. At your command. Ahem. Disruption bomb or stasis bomb. Course plotted. So. If there's another bombardment on this side, it Ship will not ready. go well for me. Underway. Ooh. Helm coordinates acknowledged. <laughs> Changing course. Awaiting orders. I would love to get another good good blast Understood. of my torpedoes against this guy, though. Setting course. Which I hope to be able to do. What? Activating. Ah, oh, he did a thing, so I couldn't do my thing. That's a bit upsetting. 
Activating mm. tactical cogitators. Yeah, actually, you guys taking that off. I'm gonna have you go this way. Yes, Admiral. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. Very annoying. Actually, you guys. Activating tactical cogitators. New path. Awaiting orders. Mm. Alright, yeah, I definitely need Activating to pivot. Cogitators. New bombardment mission. Activating ah! Tactical cogitators. Change of target. Uh, no, not disruption. Didn't want to disrupt. I want stasis bombs. At your command. Engines hot. Mm. Orders received. Come on, turn, pivot. Setting course. Mm. Course plotted. Oh, I don't. They're not working. Even worse. Well, that's fine. Maybe. Awaiting orders. Maybe, just maybe. We can. We can. Oh, hello. Resuming normal functions. Activating tactical cogitators. Come on. Keep him from doing it. Ship ready. And can you fire your torpedoes? Well, give it a try. Uh, taunting the other guy. The Imperial Navy. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. Resuming normal function. Oh, I think he's going to get to bombard it. No, don't let him do it. No. <laughs> oh. That was close. That was very close. <sighs> Tragic. Now, chaos leads that world. Shameful. Shameful. <laughs> well, let us upgrade you guys. I'm going to give you servitors to let you use your powers more quickly. Alright, well. Let's go next turn. Ah. Oh. Admiral Spire. Yes. Eldrathane. Your assistance dealing with the orcs has not been forgotten. Allow me to repay you by sharing some important and potentially dangerous information. Ooh. I travel with a farseer, one of my people who can read the weaves of fate. Her powers have revealed a traitor amongst your Imperial Navy. A captain named <gasps> Elias Okar. A traitor! He will betray you soon, during a major battle. If he is not dealt with, his actions may give Abaddon a decisive victory in this war. Why should I trust this vision of the future from a Xenos witch? He makes a good point. This man may be a loyal servant of the Emperor. Any who wear the uniform of the Imperial Navy are worthy of it. Uh -huh. human, uh -huh. That which you call chaos can corrupt even the brightest spirit. I give you this knowledge only because the great enemy threatens us both. Consider it an act of good faith. I will need to consult with the Sector High Strategic Council. Hmm. Do as you must, human. I am leading my ships to remove this traitor hmm. at once. You can either help excise this cancer from your midst, or stand in my way. The choice is yours. Interesting. Inquisitor, do you believe that the alien is correct? We have only his word to go on. Captain Elias Okar is a reliable man. He has always fought the enemies of the Emperor. 
I have heard certain oh. rumors about Captain O'Carr. He has been far more distant with his crew since the beginning of the Interesting. war. Interesting. It seems we must rely on your instincts, Admiral Spire. This Eldar Prince communicates only with you, so we are trusting you to make the correct decision. Interesting indeed. Well, I'm going to accept the offer, or his, his warning. Um, first of all, uh, anybody can be a traitor. That's why there's, the, the, that's why there's traitors. So I will accept. Uh, I will accept his... Eldrathane. Yes. I believe we must confront Captain Okar with this accusation. Yes, we must. I am pleased you've seen the light of reason, human. My battle group is already on the way to deal with this traitor of yours. I will order my fleet to accompany you. However, I must speak to Captain Okar myself. Very well, human. I agree to your terms. You will soon see his corruption with your own eyes. All right. See, that turned out fairly reasonable, right? We made a deal, but we demanded that we get to we get to handle it. You know, a little of our own. We get to talk to him. Maybe hook his balls up to a to some of our arcane, you know, torture machines. The usual things one does when you're dealing with a possible traitor. However, we're going to deal with that traitor next time, if indeed he is. And let us all think about the many, many thousands who died when I blew up those chaos ships, and be pleased to know those wretched souls are in hell once again. 